Do you know what a quadratic equation is? A quadratic equation takes a certain form of an equation. Here's an example. ax squared plus bx plus c. And a, b, and c are real numbers. When you see an equation that looks like this one, this is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Take a minute to write this form of the equation down in your notebooks. That way you can recognize it when you see it. The most basic form of a quadratic equation is this. y equals x squared. And when you see this form of an equation, you know that you are dealing with a quadratic equation. Now, we can't factor this, but what we can do is we are going to look at how to graph it. This concept focuses on not only recognizing quadratic equations, but then using what you learn to graph them. Let's take a quadratic equation and graph it y equals 2x squared. Now here's our quadratic equation. The first thing we're going to do is make a table of values. We're going to need values for x and y. Now the values that we choose for x are going to impact the value of y. We're going to choose negative values and positive values. Let's start with negative 2 for x. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. There's our first ordered pair. Now let's substitute negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Next we go and use 0. Anything times 0 is 0, so we know our y value is going to be 0. Now let's substitute positive 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Let's write that one in red. And finally, we substitute positive 2. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is a positive 8. Now you may already see a pattern in the y values. But just to show what happens when we graph that pattern, let's actually graph this equation on the coordinate grid. Here's our coordinate grid. Now let's graph each set of ordered pairs. Here's what those points look like graphed. Now let's connect them. When we connect them, we have a U-shaped graph, and this U-shaped graph is called a parabola. Whenever we graph a quadratic equation, we are going to end up with a parabola. Let's take a look at some other graphs of quadratic equations. Here's an example of a parabola. Now notice that this parabola opens upward. We can call this bottom point on the parabola the vertex. Now we can also look at a parabola that opens downward. Here's a parabola that opens downward. This top point up here, once again, is called the vertex. Here's another graph of a quadratic equation. Again, here's the vertex right here at 0, 0. This vertex on this graph is at positive 8. Or we can actually say if we go over, it's at negative 1 and a half positive 8. And finally, Look at this real-world parabola here on this roller coaster. And if you look at this, you can see a real-world application. If we were to look for the equation of this parabola, you would see that it is a quadratic equation. This is a real-life application of quadratic equations and quadratic functions.